nowadays our encounter with music is mainly through concerts at concert halls but folk music which has turned into art music I think we need to explore the inspirational sources for a better understanding after all what is music for what was it made and composed for music which derives from language and connected with architecture with landscapes and when we bring from one environment into another we should be able to keep it alive for several thousands of years had the chance to transmit musical traditions from one generation into another. Music of ancient rituals, dance music, secular folk and sacred music. Although in the past there was quite cultural exchange between the East and the West, but for centuries Armenian music was hidden from Western ears. <laughs> Gomidas did a huge work. Being a priest, he had in-depth understanding of Armenian sacred music. He was a composer, priest, collector and arranger of folk songs, choir master, singer, a researcher into Khaz, the neumatic system developed in Armenia between the 9th and 15th, 16th centuries, and also had an education in Western, classical and European early music and with all his knowledge he was able to define the characteristics of Armenian music. Gomidas created a unique art music which is based totally on folk, sacred and secular Armenian music. With the music of Gomidas, again piano and vocal piano pieces performed on Armenian traditional instruments while working on this material, I was astonished to see how accurately Gomidas wanted to reproduce the sounds, the articulations, the rhythms of these original instruments on the piano. And as a result, he composed very unique piano pieces with very unique structures. From the very beginning of the formation of the Gurdjieff Ensemble, the music of Gomidas was in my mind to have it arranged for authentic instruments. And when we were discussing with Manfred Eicher about our second program and he suggested to focus on the music of Gomidas, I was very happy because that was something I was very much interested in it. And I immediately emerged into this work music of Gomidas served for me as a reference from the very beginning when I was doing the arrangements for the Gurdjieff pieces. There's a nice rhythm.
I should focus and explain about the Musho Shoror. Musho Shoror is an archaic piece which has its roots in pagan Armenian rituals. Series of seven dances associated with pilgrimage to St. Karabet Monastery. In this same place of the temple, there was a pagan temple before Christianity, and uh, as historians explain, it was dedicated to the god of sun, Vahagan. Komitas mentions that this dance, especially the Shoror, is from these times, from Armenia's pagan times. And this monastery was one of the main pilgrimage places for Armenians. Uh, unfortunately, after the 1915, it is uh, destructed now, it is destroyed. And we are happy that um, at least the music that was being played is survived and we are able to share it with the world.